All right, so in this problem, we want to simplify the following expression, and we are going to do so by distributing these terms outside of the parentheses into the parentheses in order to simplify. So we have x squared, and we're going to distribute it into our first parentheses. So we have x squared times 1, which leaves us with x squared. We have x squared times negative 2x, which leaves us with negative 2x to the third. And now our second parentheses, we have this negative 5x that we are going to distribute. So we have negative 5x times positive 2x, which gives us negative 10x squared. And we have negative 5x times negative 3x squared, which leaves us with positive, because it's a negative times a negative, positive 15x squared, or x to the third. All right. Now we have our last two terms that we don't have to multiply. We will just write them out. We have negative 5x to the third plus 2x squared. All right, now let's start simplifying. And we're going to begin by combining all the like terms of the highest exponent degree, and that is going to be x to the power of 3. So we have negative 2x to the power of 3, 15x to the power of 3, and negative 5x to the power of 3. So if we write this out, we have negative 2x to the power of 3, plus 15x to the power of 3, minus 5x to the power of 3. And once we add all these up, we have negative 2 plus 15, which gives us a positive 13. And positive 13 minus 5 leaves us with a positive 8x to the third. All right, so those are the terms. We just simplified and combined all the like terms for the exponents to the power of 3. And now we're going to do the same with the exponents to the power of 2. All right, so we have x squared minus 10x squared plus 2x squared. Now, once we simplify this, we have 1 minus 10, which leaves us with a negative 9, plus 2, which leaves us with a negative 7x squared. All right, so the simplified version of this expression is 8x to the power of 3 minus 7x to the power of 2, because we combined all of the like terms of our long expanded equation, which was right over here. And once we combine them, we were left with these two terms over here. Now, once you found this first term, this 8x to the third, you could take a look at all your answers and see that only b matches up to your answer. But if you wanted to complete the, the whole problem to see that also you are left with this negative 7x squared, it would also be a good idea. And so the final answer for this problem is answer B.